Virgin Trains have been given permission to run a direct rail service from Shrewsbury to London. It follows a long campaign to restore the route after Wrexham and Shropshire services stopped in 2011. Virgin's application was given approval earlier today by the Office of the Rail Regulator. It now plans to start trains running in December. Well, our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, is with me now. Great news, but I sort of can't help feeling we've been here before, Peter. Well, we certainly have, Nick. This is the fourth attempt to make money running trains from Shrewsbury to London. Before rail privatisation, British Rail used to run the trains to the capital, but that service ended in 1992. Soon after the railways went private, Virgin launched a new service, but within a couple of years that had stopped too, with the company claiming it wasn't viable. Then in 2008 came Wrexham and Shropshire's service, which sadly suffered during the recession. The last train ran in January 2011. So what makes this service different from the others? That's a question I put to Virgin earlier. What makes it viable is we can run our Voyager trains directly through from Shrewsbury to London without the need to attach an electric locomotive. Uh, it also means that we can run trains at the times which are going to be popular with people. You know, if you uh, live in Shrewsbury or if you're somebody uh, coming up to visit the town from London, uh, you're going to have attractive times which will mean that the trains are well filled. Talking about attractive times there, what are the timings? Well, the new service will begin on the 14th of December this year. There'll be two trains in each direction to London. There'll be a peak time departure at 6.39 in the morning from Shrewsbury. It's due to stop at Wellington and Telford. When it reaches Wolverhampton, it'll become a normal service to London, stopping at all the usual places. There'll also be an off-peak service leaving Shrewsbury at just after 20 past three in the afternoon. The two trains from London will be at around 20 past 10 in the morning and 20 past six in the evening. So what's the business community in Shropshire have to say about today's news? Well, as you can imagine, uh, they're pretty welcoming of the news. Uh, this latest service comes after a long campaign by many businesses who've often made it clear that Shropshire is the only county in England without a direct rail service to London. But uh, like before, this is viewed as a use it or lose it service. Unlike other routes, there is no government handouts to help the trains run, so the service needs to attract passengers and make money. Otherwise, it could be another one that gets withdrawn just like the others, Nick. Peter, thank you.